Brilliant. Right, this morning, rather grey skies to start the day for many of us with some outbreaks of rain, but I do think generally it is looking brighter for this afternoon. But hay fever sufferers, unfortunately, be warned, the pollen count out there at the moment is high. So this afternoon should be dry for all of us and the better chance of this cloud breaking and thinning at times to allow the brightness and sunshine through. And so temperatures in the best of that could get higher than these values, up to about 15, perhaps even 16 degrees Celsius, but it is quite breezy out there with gusts of around 35 miles per hour. So tonight we start off dry with some clear spells and then a cold front pushing down from the northwest, introducing this thicker cloud and some outbreaks of showery rain. But there'll be a lot of dry weather too. Not a cold night with lows of around 8 or 9 degrees Celsius and those winds gusting 30 to 35 miles per hour. So tomorrow, the front that brings us the overnight rain clears away to the southeast. Behind it, low pressure and quite an unsettled day. Yes, there'll be some sunshine and brightness, but also a rash of showers. And some of these could be heavy and thunderous perhaps banding together at times to give a longer spell of rain. But there should be some fine and dry weather in between and uh, temperatures a little bit closer to average and feeling pretty chilly in that keen southwesterly gusting 35 to 45 miles per hour. And that windy theme continues into Thursday, but a lot of fine and dry weather on Thursday with a few showers. Friday the winds ease down, but with them round to the northwest, it's going to be totally colder again.